today we are going to be talking about compatibility and I'm not talking about the gross kind <laughs> like where I'm like oh Cameron and I are so compatible that's why we're in love I'm talking about compatibility with numbers numbers that get along with each other are numbers that are in the same fat family so if a number is in a num with another number in a fat family we call them compatible numbers for example 7 times 4 gives 28. So 7 and 28 are compatible numbers. 4 and 28 are compatible numbers because they belong together in the same fat family. So for example, if I was dividing 622 by 7, when I look at those first two digits, 62, 7 is not compatible with 62. So it's not as easy for me to get an idea of what would be a good estimate but yet 63 is compatible with 7 because 9 times 7 gives 63. That is why kids that are really good with their math facts are going to be really comfortable in this unit. And kids who are not very comfortable with their math facts are not going to be as comfortable because this compatibility is something that you know very easily if you know your math facts. So let's look at one more example. What if we had 284 and we are dividing that by 48? First, I'm going to take 48 and I'm going to change it to 50 because that's a lot easier to do in my head. I've rounded it, right, to the top place. And now I look over at 5 and I think, hmm, 28 is not compatible with 5. But you know what is? 30. So I'm going to change 284 into 300 just so that these numbers can get along with each other and I can get a quick little estimate. So I always think backwards. What number times 50 gives me 300 and that would give me six. And that is how compatibility works and how you can use it to help you get an estimate when you're doing long division.